one of the hardest things to top hundred. Heck, that's so hard. Yeah, to there even are make. so many people in SoCal. Actually, in California, there are so many people, dude. Like to make it to make it even on the PR is a is a testament to your skill. Definitely, you for sure. You can't even sleep on the one, two, two, two warriors here. They they're so good. Every dog has their days, dude. Every dog has their days. And let's see if Jedi is gonna have his day today, because they're just doing a button check, you know, trying to make sure their hands are warm enough, get their movement going on. Sometimes. When people do button checks, I like it because you know what? You want to make sure you're you're feeling it, you're in control. You don't want to walk in and like, oh, I don't feel good. You you want to get your. Sometimes for me, it was uh, getting one of those tournament nerves. You know when you're walking into a tournament, and you're just like so nervous. Yeah. I I, do, I love to do button warmers just because it gets rid of it right away. One of the, one of the things I like to do. <laughs> I'm not sure. If, uh, that was that PK touch. Thunder two was like uh, that PK Thunder one was because he got ganked by the pause, but <laughs> whatever. It's just a button check. But like, one of the things I like to do in button warmers is actually hit the cloud first. Yeah. Hit cloud first, because that's one of the characters that helps you with your movement. Like, it just helps you warm into the game, help into your to warm into your character, especially with a character like Marth, Marcina. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, Cloud is faster than him. He plays a lot faster than him. But this, the, I feel like the way he plays in neutral is somewhat similar to the way Marth and Lucina plays. So it's a good way for me to ease into the Marcina game. Plan. Yeah. And we're gonna ease into final destination here. Candy are gonna open up with those neutral bees. Gonna get six percent onto Jedi. And I like what Candy's doing here. He's just pacing around Jedi, seeing what he's gonna opt for when he plays aggressive. And Jedi trying to land with his own up air. He's not gonna get anything, but <gasps> as I say that, ooh. Two two quick nairs. I like how Jedi paused for that second nair, but of course the candy was away from him. Now getting off the stage. I know this is kind of a matchup that some Fox means actually consider really bad for Fox. The Ness actually wins the matchup. Uh, and just Whoa! like that, Jedi gonna bring it around and say, you know what, that, Vance, it's probably true, because look at how I get this PK Thunder confirmed right there for you. you we have to remember uh, what happened to uh, Larry Lur. I don't know if he was FE Saga, where Foe actually oh, killed yeah, him yeah, off, yeah. Killed, uh, took a whole set off of him with Ness. Yeah, um, Fo has, I think Foe has a pretty solid track record against Larry, I'm not sure, but... Um, pretty much Jedi gonna come in with the hype already, taking Candy's first stock. Candy gonna respond, saying, uh, I gotta calm down with the hype, man. I, I don't want you to get too ahead of yourself. Yeah, uh, very questionable upbeat from Jedi. I'm not sure what he wanted to go for there, but Candy's gonna take that stock very solidly. Ooh, um... Uh, War Chief, can't see. Um, uh, I really oh, like that. Uh, up tilt, <laughs> up tilt nares, uh, up tilt up airs, but Jedi gonna answer back, but... Back throw off stage, he's gonna try to get him with a down tilt. He's not gonna get it, but... Kenny answering back with his own aggressive options. Good percentage for Kenny here. Yeah, Kenny in prime percentage right now just take away Jedi's last stock. Jedi gonna have to play living in mind. And he's doing a pretty good job because he's got the stage to himself looking for an edge guard opportunity. Kenny's still able to come back. Goes for that forward smash. Too much of the commitment though, but I respect it. He wanted to get uh, Jedi away, especially if he was on the ledge. Might have gotten Jedi off the stage. Possibly a kill. Jedi had to make EDI or anything like that. A sneaky thing that Nessus like to do a lot is auto cancel their dare because when if you get the wrong hitbox of dare, it, it has end lag, right? But if you get the right uh, first few frame hitboxes, uh, like where the hitbox barely comes <gasps> out, <gasps> yeah, no. Oh my God, no! That oh was Manky the eye. That was Manky. I'm sorry, dude. That was Manky. You could have lived that. You actually could have lived that. Yeah, uh, I. <laughs> Uh, he couldn't live that. I, I'm not even sure why he tried to side B in his face. He was on the ledge. Yeah, he tried, like, to, he tried to close it. So that's what Kenny likes to do, and I've seen him do it several times. Whenever his opponent's too far from him, he likes to side B and then quickly buffer the up tilt um, so he can get his opponent off guard like yeah. that. And he likes to close the gap with that side B. That's why we saw a Jedi earlier in that match. We saw him stand for a second. He knew he had an, advantage, um, sorry, an advantageous um, stage right where he was pretty much like, okay, you know what? I think Kenny's going to be approaching me. And he actually took the time to see that Kenny made that approach. Yeah, so I'm gonna clutch it out, dude. Yeah, especially when uh, you have the lead like that, and just slowing down your pace uh, and trying to control the pace of your game. Especially since you're Fox, who's who has like, in my opinion, the better tools in this matchup. Uh, really ganks Ness when he wants to try to get some percent on you. Yeah, and you can't. He just uh, not not uh, respecting that uh, the pacing of the match there. Just side lead right into Jedi, and Jedi took that match, but. Still can't count uh, Kenny out. He still is PR, but... Oh, he got oh! it. He got it. He got it. Jedi oh, my going God. going ham, and he's going to come back. Yo, and somebody tell NXT that their boy has woken up because 2018 might be his month or and his year altogether. I mean, look at this. Remember this day, guys. Remember the day that Jedi comes out here and takes out Kenny.
because he's up against, up against the stock. 1-0 against Kenny. Kenny's not having a lot of fun right now. Yeah, Kenny pulling back a little bit when Jedi, <laughs> Jedi's trying to commit to an option, but that shield looking really small. Nice back roll. air. Gonna pay the price for rolling a little bit too much like that. Oh, Excellent job taking, because we didn't see Crow do that the last game, but Jedi's mm -hmm. gonna go ahead and prove his knowledge here. Like, hey, you can tech this if you're able to get that hit the second time around, so you're not out just yet with uh, Ness's recovery. I would like to point out that Jedi double jabs Candy, but Candy grabbed him for the double jab. Yeah. That's nutty. Once more, um, down air. Nice up smash. <laughs> I actually like how, so we couldn't see it on our side, but like I actually like how you were able to tell like that's the down air. <laughs> yeah. You know, you know the noise of the Fox yeah. makes. <laughs> All right, rapid jab. Now pretty much an even percent. I didn't see how the stock went, but Jedi now striking back. Sees the opportunity to come back in. I like how he's trying to stick towards the middle and push, continuously push Candy away. That's what he wants. The whole stage to himself and continuously harass Candy with those crazy hitboxes that Ness can actually have with dash tag. It's looking a little, it's a little disjointed too. Yep, especially uh, when something that not a lot of Nesses like to do when they're getting pressured by Fox is use Nair when he's doing his vortex because mm -hmm. Nair comes out really quickly and it sometimes it can beat out up tilt when when he gets the air dodge read on you. So um, that's something that Jedi's been trying to do. He's been, he has landed it a few times in this game, but Kenny's been catching on to it and ha now has the percentage lead on him. All right, Jedi looking to be a little cautious. He's been walking with those dash attacks, but Kenny has found the remedy for that. Those auto cancel dares are gonna be uh, the response to that. And he's doing, he's really, I'm sorry, he's doing a really good job just utilizing that as much as possible. Sets up that possible ledge trump, but Ness still gonna live from that. I like how Kenny waited for Jedi to use, to, uh, waited to see what Jedi wanted to do mm -hmm. before he decided to, to go to ledge. Because sometimes you you want the instant ledge trump, right? Because exactly. it, it can it it keeps your opponent on edge. It catches them off guard most of the time. But Jedi was just already waiting for that. He's like, hey, uh, I'm gonna wait for that. Once you get on the ledge, I'm gonna just buffer a get up option. You're not gonna be able to get me because you just committed to getting on ledge. But Committing to his own get-up option gets hit by the forward smash on yeah. the ledge. And Jedi had a pretty good lead right there, but unfortunately, I didn't see. We we had a we apologize for you know small technical difficulty we had, but we couldn't see how that stock ended. But Jedi had a pretty good lead, and the one thing that actually stopped him from continuing that lead, as we saw even later on when the stocks were even, was he kept going for those dash attacks, yeah. and Kenny easily adapted to that. He all he had to do was go for those auto cancel dares to respond to that and pick up a move for just from there. So let's see how game three is gonna turn around for Ernest and Candy because now it's pretty much any man's game to see who's gonna come out on top. And Je Jedi is doing really well at slowly racking up percent for Candy with such a good character in his hands already making Jedi's percent look very minuscule. Oh, Jedi. Whoa, please, Candy, don't die to that. Yeah, I was going to say, actually, it was pretty smart stuff from Jedi because he was actually trying to set it up like, hey, if it doesn't hit you, I'm going to go around it so I can actually confuse you. So he was trying to force the situation from Candy to get an air dodge, mm -hmm. possibly, and read that. Nice. nice. I like how he set that up for that Nair. Gets that PK fire, tries to go for that forward smash. Not going to be it just yet. That could have been a home run, though. Yeah, um, especially with Candy. Uh, that was really a very questionable forward tilt from Candy because a lot of Nessus like to go for for the bat right after the right after the PK fire. Oh he misses the Nair though. But like when when uh Candy did the forward tilt and oh he tries Oh yo my god oh, oh now it, we're even. Worth it. Yeah worth it was worth it. It was worth it. Like I respect it from Kenny, try to get the edge guard. You can't stop Ness from gonna get P that PK Thunder. But he went a little too no, and he actually got clipped by it. Still trying to come back and get killed already. But now we're going back to the neutral, even stocks on both players. Let's see how they're gonna go ahead and take this out. It's in my a opinion, pretty good close game. Yeah, in my opinion, that was a really good trade for Kenny because even though he did get hit by it, he 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 still got hit by PK Thunder too, and that does decrease the range to PK uh, PK Thunder oh, too. Oh, he got it! No, oh, he missed. He, he missed, missed, missed the sweet it. Spot. He please, missed the sweet spot. please. Okay. Yo, man, I know my NXT boys are going out of no, the hype, he's and he's able to bring it to him. He takes out Candy.